Hold on, Dean. We'll have a word with you in a second. Mark, can we just have a quick word with you? The, the opening session today, you found yourself 6-2 behind. Were you a little flat today, do you think, after your semi-final? Um, I, I felt nervous coming to, to this match, but um, I, I think I, I just didn't show it this, uh, this afternoon and didn't kind of punish me from, from mistakes. And some of the close frames I should have won and, and, and didn't play very well to, to pinch those frames, which were, I think, very crucial. So, every credit to them. You were getting yourself back into it, though, where you played the first two frames this evening, absolutely superb, and then, well, a miracle frame, really. How did you not win the 11th? Oh, sure, I should have, should have put a ping, I think, from now, uh, thinking about it, but I just... Because I, I, I just didn't feel like putting the pink, so I just want, I don't want to mess it up. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, but 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 Ding played a good snooker and, and he managed to, to pinch that frame and, and play very well from then on. So I just um, a little bit disappointed to lose the 12 frame. Yeah, yeah. disappointed about obviously losing the match today, but your game's back, isn't it? You're playing much better now. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing good, but not good enough, I think. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Marco Fu. <laughs> Congratulations. What does it mean to you to be Masters champion? Um, yes, great match. And uh, I'm happy to play Marco in the final. And, uh, it's, it's good, good. Yeah. Now, you, you lost in the final here in 2007. Are you a better player now? Yeah, I think I'm a better player and uh, more enjoying the game and uh, more experience. Yeah. You can see that. Uh, I think I can concentrate on the game and play very good. OK, you've won the Masters, you've won the UK. It's the World Championships, you've got to do better at the Crucible, haven't you? Is that what you're looking forward to? I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you win the World Championship? Um, yeah, I like to win. Uh, you know, sometimes it's very hard, but uh, one thing is I need to win. Well, congratulations, I'll let you pick your chapter. Well played, Ding Xunhui. The champion, Ding Xunhui! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your presentation party, Gary McElroy, Managing Director of Labyrinths.com, and Barry Hearn, Chairman of World Snooker. lighting up Wembley tonight and no wonder there were tears a few years ago but this is a deserved win for the man who came here as a 16 year old he's made a maximum break he suffered heartache in a final against Ronnie O'Sullivan but this more than makes up for it now and that uh, Stephen and Steve that's two out of the big three that he's won as John Parrott was pointing out the UK twice now the Masters and uh, how big a threat do you think he'll pose at the Crucible in a few months' time, Steve? Um, well, he'll be among the favourites, there's no doubt about that. I think he's, he's maturing quickly. Um, you need to have great um, maturity and your temper temperament has to be in check for 17 days, obviously, the World Championship. But there's no doubt he's, he's got the game. I mean, he just, he just loves potting balls. You know, any situation you put him in, he just keeps potting balls. And his positional play is perfect, so he, he's definitely one of the favourites, no doubt about it. What makes him so special for you, Steve? Well, I think he's blessed, uh, uh, well, possibly if he hasn't been blessed, he's worked very hard on it, on, in having what you could say is a textbook uh, cue action now. I think he's holding up very well under pressure. He does everything right in that department. He stays very still on the shot. He's great building at the moment. I think he's as good as anybody's in the game, if not better. 
he's, he, he's clinical in how he's doing that. He's making the most of every chance he gets, or as, as good a strike rate as you could possibly ask for. And also, uh, tied into the fact that he doesn't seem to drop his head now as much, he's becoming uh, uh, the full player all round.